Okay, so let's start creating these classes. I'm gonna create an instance of the param converter provider. I'm gonna create a new class. I'm gonna call this my date converter provider. And this will implement an interface. So I'm gonna choose the param converter provider interface here. And click finish. Now, since I'm in implementing this interface, I have to implement this method, which is get converter. It takes three arguments, the class, the type, and the annotation. I'm gonna copy over the argument names from the Java doc. So these three parameters are what Jersey sends to the converter provider to see if the converter provider can provide a converter back. So it sends the raw type, the type of the, you know, the instance that needs conversion from string to. There's also a generic type in case you're dealing with generics. And it also sends a list of annotations. So this is an array of annotations. So in the case of uh, a path param, the path param would be one of the annotations that gets sent over here. We are not dealing with generic types and we are not gonna look at the annotations. We're just interested in the raw type. So what I wanna do is I wanna check if the raw type is the my date type. So I'm gonna have an if condition here. If raw type dot get name, I'm gonna compare it to the name of the my date dot class. Now, if they're equal, I need to send back the actual param converter. Now, if the raw type is different, then I just return a null. Now, here is where I create a new param converter class. Now, I could uh, create a separate class for our param converter and say return new of that class, but I'm just gonna implement the class in line here. So I'm gonna say return new param converter. So I'm gonna implement this in line. So now since I've created a new param converter, I need to implement a couple of methods. So the first method is the from string. So this is what takes in a string value and returns the the instance of the class, which is the my date, right? This is where the logic resides. There's also this other method that I have to implement, which is the to string. So this is not important for our param converter, but this is something you have to implement because it's a method of this interface, okay? So this to string takes in an instance of our class and converts it to a string. I'm just gonna return a, you know, object dot to string here. All right, so now let's focus on the from string. Given a string, a today, tomorrow, or yesterday, I need to return an instance of the my date class. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new instance of calendar for our current date. And then if, the, if what's requested, the value is tomorrow, then I'm gonna do a requested date dot add of plus one. I'm adding a date to the current date so that I get tomorrow's date. But if the date requested is yesterday, the string is yesterday, then I'm gonna subtract one. Okay, so by the end of this, I should get the requested date being either today's date or tomorrow's or yesterday's. So if anything else, I'm just, you know, if they're, if they're passing anything else, not necessarily today, I'm still gonna return today's date, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new instance of my model, which I need to send back, and then I'm gonna set the date, month, and year to the requested date dot get of calendar date, calendar month, and calendar year, okay? And now I need to return my date. Since it's a generic type, I'm gonna do a raw type dot cast of my date so that it returns the instance of the type that it wants, okay? And now on to the to string method. This is fairly straightforward. I get a, I get a bean, you know, if it's null, I just return null. And if not, I just do a bean dot to string, okay? Now with this, we have an implementation of the my date converter provider. And now in order to register this class as a provider for JAXRS, make sure you add the add provider annotation to the class. Now with this annotation, now we've got a custom my date converter provider, which looks at the raw type, and if the raw type is what we need, which is my date, 
it returns an instance of the param converter it just has the logic to return the type that we want from the string this is all that matters now the final thing i need to do is create a two string method for our date class so that we can send something sensible i'm just going to use the two string that eclipse generates it just prints my date with the values of these member variables i'm going to save this and let's run run on server Now I'm going to do a web API slash date slash today. It returns today's date. Date is 25th. If I return, if I send tomorrow, it returns 26th. And yesterday returns 24th. So what's actually happening here is just to recap, we are passing in a string here and uh, in our date resource, I'm not doing any conversion here. I'm just saying, hey, Jersey, figure out a way to convert that string to a date instance. This conversion is happening thanks to Jersey. But to enable Jersey to make this conversion, we have created two classes. One is the provider, which registers a converter for the date type. And then the second class is the converter itself, which is an inline class here, which converts from a string to an instance of what we want. All right, so this is how you implement param converters. This is a contrived example. You would never do something like this, but in case you have your own custom data type that you use all over the place, rather than have that logic, the conversion logic happen from string in all your controller methods, you can implement this converter so that the conversion is pretty seamless, right? The, the people who write your controllers, your resource classes, don't have to worry about how to do this conversion. It's something that Jersey knows how to do. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next tutorial.